Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers of Tech, I remember last night I told you that we were very, very pessimistic about the possible outcomes of these talks, but as it turns out today, things are rapidly changing, sometimes even by the minute. Chris Wright is here with me for all the details. Hi Heather, thanks for the interview. Now uh, I have some interesting things to discuss with you. There's been a lot of developments overnight. That's exactly what I've heard. I'm excited to hear what's happened. Well, uh, we have a lot of movement from developing and developed countries. Uh, recently I've heard that Australia has planned not to open one more mine ever. That is absolutely fantastic. So that saves the Great Barrier Reef, doesn't it? Maybe. We have also introduced another plan to single-handedly fund the Green Climate Fund. That is incredible. Where are you getting the money from? Oh, sir, we're in the middle of an interview. Oh, sorry. Uh, this, this is like a breaking news. We, Pakistan, just single-handedly met the targets for GCF. That's absolutely incredible. But and, Australia... And, oh. and, 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 and we are making a second Green Climate Fund. Green Climate Fund too. This is incredible. This it this I, is the kind... I have to run. I have to run. I have to report this thing. I have to talk to my negotiators. Hey, hey, for... for Tick fans, this is incredible progress. I mean, look at the things that can possibly be done when countries actually work together and put ambition towards the future instead of a three-month financial gain. This is amazing. Congratulations, Australia and Pakistan. Do you have any other news to report? Well, you know, Heather, I have to expect this. Last night we had a lot of developments that I haven't even told you about. Apparently, Canada has some big plans that they're going to announce today. Do they really? I, I can't even imagine what those would be. Well, apparently Canada has kicked out Peter Kent and plans to introduce a small puppy who loves the environment in his place. Oh, Mr. Fluffles! Mr. Fluffles. Oh, that's fantastic. Mr. Fluffles, for those who aren't familiar, is adored by Canadians across party lines for his broad faith in environmental policies. He is a tree hugger and a lover. Uh, it, in ways that I can't even possibly elucidate. Oh, and just just in? Yes? Uh, sorry, I, yes. it, it's a text message. It oh, oh, like that. sorry. Um, I, I don't really get technology. Apparently, uh, Poland has made an early announcement, one that it was planning for COP19. Yes? Apparently, Poland, if... Uh, I just might have to read this again. Yes? Poland has planned not only to drop all of its hot air but plan to use its hot air target as its next target for Kyoto. It now is announcing an emissions reduction pledge of all of the remaining hot air, 13 billion tons, is going to be sequestered out of Poland this year. You know, Chris, I... I I don't even think that there are words for this. I had lost all faith in governments that they would actually be able to do anything here, but this has, <laughs> this has reaffirmed my this has reaffirmed my faith completely. Thank you, world, for doing the right thing. For doing the right thing for the climate. <laughs> oh, and one more update. Sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. One more You're gonna have to finish. Uh, so one more update. Apparently, most breaking news that we have today: the U.S. has now pledged nothing. Thank you. 